Guys, Kuwezi here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys how to make various plexus effects in Cinema 4D. So, th this one's kind of like an abstract plexus type thing. This isn't too difficult, like there's probably a lot of variations you can do um, that you, you might have thought of yourself or seen elsewhere, but I'm going to show you a really easy method that I use, uh, as well as uh, a method for, let me see if get to the other ones here uh, something like this it's kind of the same idea without the full object and finally a plexus like text uh, this one didn't come out too great because I just made a quick version so I could render it out real quick um, as you can see that a lot of things are like clumped and stuff and it's not really spaced out too well but yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how to do these in order that I just showed you in, showed them to you so there will be time slots down below in the description if I remember to put them in. If they're not there, just put a comment and I'll put them in um, for each starting point of this, of each section. So like how to do this, this, and that. These two are kind of integrated into one, but yeah. So let's get started. So first off, I'm going to get a platonic. Um, and there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this. It just depends what kind of look you go you want. If you want like a simple uh, type look, you you can just increase the size and do two segments. If you want a lot more craziness going on, you can uh, bump up the segments. Um, for just like render time and things, I'm just gonna stick with two. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and get a sphere. I'm gonna put the radius on one, or no, excuse me, I'm gonna do five. Um, and then I'm going to get a cylinder and put the radius on one or two. Then I'm going to go to MoGraph, Cloner, duplicate it, and put a cylinder, the cylinder in one of those and the sphere in the other. Um, so the one with the cylinder, we're going to click that cloner. Um, we're going to make the mode object. We're going to click this arrow here and make our object the platonic. Uh, we're going to set the distribution to edge. We're gonna check mark scale on edge and put edge scale to 100%. Then we're gonna go to the sphere cloner, make the mode object. Again, make the platonic our object. And this time keep it as a distribution on vertex. So as you can see, we created uh, basically an atom array. Um, but what we're able to do now is if we go to this platonic, if we go here and get a displacer you if we put that on the platonic uh, we're gonna go to shading click the arrow go to noise uh, go back to object and increase the height as you can see it will displace it and the atom array type effect will follow it so you can create some wicked shapes and go like out like that I'm not gonna do some anything too crazy I'll just stay simple like that and then uh, just create a simple material. So I'll just go with a grayish. Um, I'm going to go to reflectance, add reflection legacy, um, decrease the strength of that a bit, uh, decrease that, decrease that. Um, something like that. All right. So you can follow those instructions if you want. You just basically need to create a simple reflected material if you're following along, or you can use your own material. Put that on the platonic. And then we're just gonna create a simple color. Uh, nothing too fancy here. I'm just gonna literally put that down. I'll stick with blue. Mix it up from the green. Uh, I'm gonna put that blue material on both the cloners. Sorry, that was a text that I got. <laughs> and we got this little shape. Um, I'm just gonna render it for you real fast. And you can see we got a shape with a, a nice outline. Um, but this, you can go with this standard effect, but something that looks uh, really cool most of the time is if you take your two cloners and you just rotate them. If it wants to rotate. Oh shoot, that's right. Hold on. You gotta select both the cloners um, and everything inside and we're gonna right click on them. Select children, C on the keyboard. Right click again, select children. Right click, 
connect objects and delete and then we're gonna rotate them if it's, it says it doesn't want to rotate it seems like there we go and we're just gonna offset them a little bit so they're not exactly in line and I'm actually gonna go a little bit this way something like that and we get a cool little effect here if, uh, this might take a little bit and you'll get something like this um, I'd like uh, the dark object doesn't look good on a dark background but if you had a light background it would look good probably should have used more of a white material but it's a little late I guess um, and also this light room's not ideal for this thing that I'm using but that's just how they do the effect you can mix it up as much as you want you can try different shapes other than platonic if you want that'll do but uh, for the second part of this tutorial to get this this effect it's real simple you do the same method we just went through merging the cloner except after you merge the cloner you want to delete the platonic and <clears throat> then you have just the lines like so <clears throat> and I'm <clears throat> sorry so much in my throat right now um, if you're just doing just the lines I would suggest when you make the platonic you add more segments so there's more lines um, and then if you don't have enough like I'd say this probably isn't enough you can just like duplicate it get a little rotation thing going down and like put it down here or something it's like connected and you can create cool shapes and patterns and things like that and like cool backings of text but let's move on to the final plexus styled thing and this is with text now I'm not sure what my times like right now but I'm gonna try to fly through this so I'm just gonna set up some standard text uh, this will work in with logos and stuff too I'm just gonna do plex to keep it short um, I'm gonna make the death depth 60 I'm gonna keep it on normal cap <clears throat> and the only key here is you want a boxy font you don't want any curves so illegal curves would be bad bad font idea um, trying to look for there's the only one font that I can think of off the top of my head that I know is completely square it's the Evan Eckerd font I just gotta find it there it is boom and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit get it out of my camera so I can zoom in and adjust alright so basically you get your text set up right, like that like so hit C on the keyboard open the two folders that the text will come in uh, drag the that last folder out, delete the rest, you don't really need it. Um, and then we're just going to work from inside this folder. So we're going to select all the MoGraphs, right click, select children, C on the keyboard, right click, select children, right click, connect objects and delete. And technically you could take this out of the folder, I keep it in the folder just because that's what I always do. Uh, but what we're going to do is go to this selection object, live selection, we're going to select the P. And I don't know if it's like showing up or not. Hold on, let me go to display. Yeah, it's, it's like that. Oh, we gotta go down here. Uh, click polygons. Uh, then we're gonna click the front and we're gonna right click. Get the knife tool. And we're just gonna cut some triangles in here. So I like to go to all the various points and things. Like that. And I believe this just created a weird shape in the middle, but that's odd. What the heck? Why is it doing that? Come on now. There we go. This one's not seeming like it's wanting to work. What the heck? I did not have this problem before. I guess I'm probably just messing up somewhere. There we go. As you can see, I probably screwed up that corner because there's a little lip there. Whatever. Alright, and then uh, this is really up to you how you do this. How many lines and things you add. 
Um, let's do one there, one there. Do that, and that's that's pretty good. Um, I'll speed it up for you guys now, so you don't have to sit through me doing this. Alright, so once you have that done, um, if you want, you can go and let's go further than just the front and do the sides and things. And um, one thing that I forgot is that with this font, since it has these little peg things, uh, it kind of screws up the, the plexus effect because uh, it adds a lot of dots on those points. I completely forgot about that. I meant to change the font in my head, but uh, I didn't. Um, but anyway, just make sure you got a completely boxy font with nothing fancy going on Or else it's just gonna screw things up um, Again, we want to do our whole cloner method. So gonna get two cloners. We're gonna get our sphere and our cylinder And we're gonna do the same size so one on the cylinder Five on the sphere place them in our cloners it's just like both the cloners set both our objects to the uh, text the P and we'll do the sphere first this time oh wait no, we don't need to do this here first we'll do the cylinder set it to edge scale the edge hundred percent boom there's a nice plexus effect uh, if you want you can act the sphere is way too thick this is odd There you go, whatever. If you want, you can leave it like that, add your materials, whatnot, or you can merge the two cloners and then delete the P and just have the uh, plexus effect. Uh, but what I like to do, oh, one thing too, I forgot to draw a line to this point, so there's just a dot without any points going anywhere. That's a little weird. Uh, try to avoid that. But um, the thing that I'm going to show you to do is what we basically just did, and that's add a displacer on the text. Do the whole shading thing with noise, and you can decrease it, increase it, or whatever. I'm gonna go back to 100. All right, I guess it's default is 10. It's whoa, it's going nuts. There we go. Just gonna add a little bit of displacement here. And yeah, you'll start to notice now there's a lot of weird dots everywhere because of this stupid little peg things. Uh, but if we just merge these, see, select children, connect objects, then delete. Delete that. Add some color. I missed. Boom, we get a nice little effect. Nice little plexus effect. I should have done the back, maybe added one more displacement. Should have used a different font. If you use a better font, there's a lot more you can do. I am limited because all the dots just look so gross when it's like that. But yeah, so if you guys get 100 likes on this video, I'll be sure to drop in a cool little text setup with uh, all these effects that looks pretty nice. Um, I'll probably put a link of what that looks like uh, below. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, if this helped you leave a like as well, um, leave a comment on what you thought and any other tutorials you'd like to see me do. Uh, thanks for watching again. Peace.